To Oakland we go. A new school year kicked off in Oakland this past week, but some parents and teachers say it's getting started on shaky footing. They're upset because they say the district did not tell them about elevated levels of lead in drinking water on some campuses. The district sent this notice out to families a few days ago, but the testing has happened over the course of a few months. First day of school was last Monday. Then on Wednesday, concerned parents, teachers, and community members lined up to demand answers from the school board. Listen. The first day of school is supposed to be the most exciting day of the year. At Frick's first day of school, we were informed that water fixtures at our school tested positive for lead in April 2023. Four months of lead poisoning. District neglect will now have health impacts on our students and staff that will last longer than any of your time on the board. Our Amanda Harry spoke with a parent and a teacher who say they are concerned about the safety of the entire district. Students and staff here at Frick and other schools throughout the school district were drinking water from the water fountains all throughout the summer school sessions. Now their concerns about the effects of lead consumption. That includes things like learning difficulties, blood disorders and behavioral problems. A basic need now deemed unsafe at 22 schools throughout the Oakland Unified School District system. I have right here, How long have you worked this, school? this is a report released in April. Stuart Lobel is a sixth grade teacher at Frick United Academy of Language. He says he's outraged and heartbroken by the results of the testing, especially because it was done months ago. The students have been drinking lead water for this whole time obviously before the report was released, but since as well, which is infuriating. He says one water fountain had lead levels of 51 parts per billion. OUSD's maximum acceptable amount of lead is just five parts per billion. The Environmental Protection Agency recommends remediation if levels exceed 15. It will be really difficult for them to know exactly what the impact is. Figuring that out will be a very decades long process potentially. Um, and it's horrible. The water fountains at Frick have been covered to prevent more exposure. Nate Landry's daughter is a sixth grader at Edna Brewer Middle School, one of the schools with elevated lead levels. Students should be, students and their families should be able to, and school staff should be able to come to school and expect, uh, expect safe drinking water. Landry believes the district may need to reevaluate how they spend money so they can best serve the students. $60 million in facilities bond money uh, to a new central office project. It just so happens that we were quoted uh, $60 million would be the estimated price for remediating the, uh, the lead contaminant situation in the district. A teacher from United for Success Academy says there's been a lead crisis at that school for a number of years. Photos from the school show that their water fountains were still uncovered and functional on Saturday. Lobel says the district needs to shut down all drinking fountains fix the issues and prevent it from ever happening again. We need a very comprehensive plan for testing going forward that does not just spot test. The district is still testing lead levels at other schools throughout the district. The number of schools that are being impacted by this could increase. The district released a statement that says in part, we're in the process of repairing the elevated outlets, which most often involves simply replacing a filter and then retesting the outlets before bringing them back online. While being very proactive in doing this testing, we were not as effective in communicating with everyone involved. We're putting systems in place to ensure a lack of effective communication does not occur again. 